Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the arc length of a sector in terms of pi. So I won't be using a calculator for these two examples. So to find the arc length, you do theta over 360 times pi times d. So theta is the angle inside the sector and d is the diameter of the sector so you'd have to double this distance here because that's the radius and the arc length is the length of this curved bit here so that's what we're working out in terms of pi so let's have a look at the example here then so let's just write down our formula for the arc length so it's theta over 360 times pi times d so our angle there is 20 So D, the diameter of the circle, imagine if you've got the whole circle, this would be the radius 10, so we need to double this answer here, so that's 20. So remember we haven't got our calculator, so we need to multiply this fraction by that whole number. Okay, we can simplify this uh, fraction though first of all, because the numerator and denominator are both multiples of 20. So we can write that as uh, 1 18th. And we can write 20 as a fraction as 20 over 1. And then what you can do then is multiply these two fractions together. So 1 times 20 is 20. 18 times 1 is 18. And just put the pi on at the end. And then we can simplify this fraction again by dividing by 2. So that will give us 10 ninths pi. And that is our final answer. So let's have a look at the second example. So this time we have an inside angle of 80. So that's theta. And our radius of our sector is 6. So again we're after the arc length. So that's the length of this bit here. Let's just copy our formula down. So it's theta over 360 times pi times d. So theta is 80. So it's 80 over 360 times pi times by the diameter. So the diameter will be double this length here because that's the radius. So that's 12. So again, we can simplify this fraction at the front because the multiples of 40. So 80 divided by 40 is 2. 360 divided by 40 is 9. And we can write 12 as 12 over 1, so we can multiply these two fractions together. So 2 times 12 is 24. 9 times 1 is 9. And then just put the pi on at the end. And I think we can simplify this fraction a little bit more because it's both multiples of 3. So if we divide by 3, 24 divided by 3 is 8. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we get a final answer of 8 thirds pi. So that is our arc length. So make sure you like and subscribe guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.